Hello folks. Welcome back to Moose Monday, where we help photographers beat the Monday blues by solving problems that we encounter out in the field. Today we're going to take a look at how one can invest $35 to improve your wildlife photography experience. And we will all agree that for photography equipment, $35 is really a low price to improve our experience. So let's take a walk back to the truck and take a look at what we have today. So this is my little interesting piece of kit here. It's basically a five gallon bucket with a seat on top. And then inside my bucket, Got some bug spray. Because we know when you get out there, if you don't have some bug spray, you're not going to stay very long. And I've got a portable hide, and you can use almost anything. You don't have to buy an expensive portable hide. But I take this with me, and that allows me to get closer to the animals. And the last item I have is one of these sleeping pads. And I've cut mine down so it fits inside my bucket. This is just one of these simple, cheap sleeping pads you can buy from like Walmart for 10 or 15 bucks. And this allows me to get down on the ground very low, even lay on the ground, and not have to be in the uh, Canada Goose poop and stuff. It's especially useful when you're out shooting prairie dogs and you're in the sand and the gravel and also the prairie dog poo to be able to have a nice cover to put on the ground to be able to bend down and get down low eye level to the animals because of course we know that when you get down to eye level you're getting a much more intimate photograph. Now these do come, I think they're seven or eight feet long. I didn't need it to be quite that long. So I cut it down to be about five feet long. And that way it fits into my bucket a little bit better. One of the pieces that was left over, I still have. And I can use that on my shoulder when carrying my tripod and my long lens to help protect my shoulder. So that becomes just an extra pad since it came as part of the sleeping pad, it didn't cost me anything extra and just makes it kind of nice to have. So let's put this bucket into practice and see how it works. photographing Canada geese, you don't exactly need a pocket blind. You can get up pretty close to these guys and uh, they're not all that skittish. They're pretty used to us humans. But in order to demonstrate the use of this bucket, which you can see makes a really good seat, Let's take a look at how it works when you're using it as a pocket blind or as a seat for your pocket blind. So this is how I would usually use it. I can sit in here and be camouflaged and be nice and comfortable while photographing the animals that I really enjoy being around. Now like I say you don't usually need a pocket blind or something like that for photographing Canada geese but it does make it uh, a little bit more stealthy 
also makes the neighbors wonder what the heck you're up to when you're doing stuff like this, especially when you're in a public park like I am right now. So let's take a look at some of the other uses that we can use the bucket for. Another thing I can use the bucket for is as a modified support. This is one of my ground pods and I did uh, a book on how to make a ground pod. also did a video on it. I'll link that video up here and I'll put the book down in the description here below if you'd like to be able to make one of your own ground pods. So as you can see you can just use your bucket here as a modified support and then that allows you to photograph your subject and to have your long lens well supported. And here I am flat on the ground in an abundance of goose poo but I'm keeping my clothes relatively clean and able to get these shots right down at eye level. So you can see this little pad that you carry inside your five gallon bucket really comes in useful. It gives you something to stay off the turf, so to speak. So you can see how well the ground pod works being able to shoot really close to the ground. You're able to get those really intimate shots. I use a ground pot a lot, not only shooting on the ground, but also shooting from a bean bag in the car. So that shows you the value of a little five gallon bucket and uh, a little sleeping pad and how you can use that and be able to adapt that to your photography. Now I'm not sure I would want to hike 10 miles carrying a five gallon bucket but a lot of times we park relatively close to where we work and it's really nice to have a place to sit down and to relax especially when you're going to be out for many many hours. So that's our program for our Moose Monday. Just basically a five gallon bucket and a seat. I'll put links to the seat and uh, some type of pad. Uh, I got mine at Walmart but I'm sure that Amazon has a suitable pad that's pretty cheap. I'll also put a link to the pocket blind that I'm using in case you want to get one of those. They're not as cheap as the bucket or the seat top is. But uh, as I say, I find that really effective for taking pictures of animals that are a little bit more skittish than a can of the goose. If you would, please give our video that thumbs up icon or that old like a -roo, as I like to call it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you may consider subscribing. We have a lot of videos coming in the near future and a lot of adventures coming up in the near future. So I thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here again on Moose Henderson Wildlife Photography very soon. Thank you so much. Goodbye.